So the first thing to think about, late season habitat isn't about having really young cuts. It's more about having prime cuts that are not yet to the end of their point of being prime, but are getting closer to that. And also you need to think about some of the marginal habitat. And then you have to think about escape areas and then also food sources. You see these cuts here are labeled with a number, 2006. That's the year of the harvest of the cut. No different than this is a 2012 cut. So being that it's right now at the time that we're doing this video, it is 2023. So it's clearly 11 years old. I like the 10 year old cuts here. I like the 2006. I don't know if the understory in this cut would be advanced enough to provide like hazel brush for the birds. It's questionable. But what I do like about this particular cut is the way it wraps around the black spruce here. But you see how you have low pockets of black spruce in through here, and then it goes over to a 2009 cut. Definitely the 2009 and 2010 should have a shrub component started. The 12 is questionable. The 13 would be still probably too young. So in the 14, absolutely would be too young. I'm looking for areas that have pockets of black spruce. When you look at this, you know, bird gets over on this edge here. Once it flies in here, it's gone. You can't circle it. You cannot get around it. All you can do is try to get along this edge between where the birds are and where they want to go. Here, you can sort of circle it a little bit. In this 2006, you have a definite opportunity for a shrub component and possibly hazel brush, which then provides the birds both food and cover while they're eating. I'm also checking the age of just where it says A, meaning aspen. So you tap that and then it's going to come in with the information on it. This is a 1983. Would be high probability that there could be some male aspen trees in there. Also provide a bud that these birds want very nutritious, is high in fat, high in protein, everything that the birds needs. It's definitely a staple that they'll utilize through the winter. You have potential for maybe some shrub component in this one. You need to check out this area through here. How has it regenerated? Is there some nice patches of hazel brush in there? Go and locate as a food source. And so you'd work these edges and especially look at this area here because the birds could go to the northern hardwoods here, which is this pocket right here, and they could go up and hit, feed off the buds of some of the different hardwoods that are in there, or even potential for ironwood catkins in the understory. Find the potential food sources. You're looking for a shrub component. You're looking for the age of these aspens that are here. Are they old enough now to be viable for producing the male aspen bud, which is a high-protein and high-fat diet? For them in the wintertime since they don't carry much fat. Look for your potential food choices. Look for your escape cover. Look for the quality of the older aspen that has aged out, which is the aspen, the 2006 and the 1999. Look at the age of the younger aspens that are around there. Are they closer to that 13, 14, 15, 16 age range where they start to get a good shrub component in the understory? Or are they too young yet? These are all things that you need to look at an area. And when it becomes wintertime, everything needs to be the best that they can have. 